Hi, this is Heather with KeepItSimpleSocialMedia.com and today I have a question from Leanne who is at the Level 10 Euro Spa in downtown Courtney, which is actually my hometown. So thank you Leanne for the question and it's in regards to using PicMonkey, which is a photo editing um, website that is free for you to use. And I've been teaching a lot of my students that they can work their own pictures and their own cover images uh, with PicMonkey and it's also a lot of fun. So thank you very much Leanne for the question. And I'm just going to walk everyone through the simple steps of using this photo editing site. So let's click on PicMonkey which is at www.picmonkey.com. And from here, I'm going to click Create a Collage. From Create a Collage, we then need to pick this second box down here, which is Choose the Layout. When we open up that screen, it gives us quite a number of choices, but it is the FB cover, which stands for Facebook cover, that we need to click on. From here, it gives you a choice of four more boxes. Now, these are really great if you wanted to add a couple of pictures, three, four, six, do a collage, as it's called. But if you only have one picture, all you have to do is roll up here, and you see what happens? These X's appear. You just click on them, and that removes all the other boxes. From here, we upload the photo. So we're going to go ahead, and I just down... Uh, dropped a photo right on my desktop to use. There it is right there and we're going to open it and that puts the picture over here on the left hand side right from your computer and all you do is click down on the left and drag the picture over and you see how it fits right in and it's just beautiful. Then what you can do Leanne is there's a palette down here uh, with a paintbrush. If you click on it it gives you choices of colors that you can do on the outside of the frame of that picture. And I'm going to go with this yellow one. From here, all we want to do is go ahead and click Save. And then we save the photo. And I'm going to save it right on my desktop. And we click Save. And we have to remove the previous one that was there and click Save on the new one. From here, Leanne, we're going to go up to the top right corner. I know you can't see it, but top right corner and click the X to close out of the collage. Now we want to go into edit a photo and then we go back to our desktop and we search the desktop for the PicMonkey that we just uploaded. Here it is. It says PicMonkey Collage. Click on it and open it up. And as you can see, it's the perfect size for Facebook which of course is the um, 851 by 315. So that's 851 by 315 is the perfect size for a Facebook cover image. Now Facebook does have some rules and regulations, uh, Leanne, behind um, using um, such as you couldn't put a like right here, graphics that say like, as in pertaining to liking your Facebook page. You could not put your website on your cover image. It's against the guidelines. And you're not supposed to sell on your cover image either. Now what we're going to do, Leanne, is I'm going to scroll over here and show you that you can click on any one of these items here. This box here is actually frames, and you can pick a frame to outline your photo. This P stands for text, um, and all you have to do is click on Add Text, and it will drop a box on your screen, and then you can pull it down, and you can go ahead and write... Um, anything you want and you can highlight that and you can make the font a lot bigger just by scrolling down that's probably way too big <laughs> there you go and then you can come over here on the left hand side and you can choose um, what uh, type of print you want and there's lots of choices to choose from and um, now you can see that that doesn't really show up very good on there, so you might want to play around with it till you find 
the font that works best for um, for what you want to say. Um, and then all you have to do is uh, you can keep adding text over here. You can add some love hearts if you want, or some arrows, or some comic bubbles, uh, even some stars. And you just go ahead and drag them over, and uh, you can change the colors of those stars just by clicking on them and then clicking on the color that you want. And it's really a lot of fun. I know this picture isn't a good example of a picture you should be using because you can't even read the print on it. But it was just an example for you to show you how easy it is to use PicMonkey. Give yourself the time to learn. I've been doing these photos for quite a while now, so I'm a little bit quicker and I might be forgetting to explain certain steps to you. But we learn by practicing. So I, I look forward, Leanne, to having a look at your new cover image. And I hope that this video helps you out. I appreciate you asking me the question today. This is Heather. Let's keep it simple. Thank you.